Kiswa Kaka Dali Rastafari And I'm still a Trading Giving you step Trading Kiswa Kaka Reggae music has always played a significant and important role in the resistance, the liberation, and the restoration of black people's dignity. Reggae music has always centralized itself around Pan-Africanism and black consciousness. Today, reggae music has contributed in the liberation of countries like South Africa. Today, reggae music needs to be documented and archived and published to the entire world so that they can know the contribution and the impact that reggae music played in the liberation of the people. Greetings, my name is Ross Pablo. Let me take you through the custodians and practitioners of this culture of reggae music. We are here in Bochipstrom Rastafari Heritage Centre in the township of uh, Ikahe. Still continuing with uh, documentation of reggae music. So right now we are here to reason as we are in the, uh, the centre itself. We are here to reason with uh, the priest of the centre. Uh, not the priest in the religious manner, in the, but in the African context. Yes, uh, talk about uh, Rasa Tabo, Elijah Tabo. We give thanks at the Rasta for us. Rasta for us, yeah. No, and we be to see you in Borsa de Rasta. Rasta for us, yeah. Give thanks. I know. Uh, <coughs> we are here to reason about the influence of reggae music. Uh, you know, and reggae music as it is, how it is right now. Can you, I know, can you just take us back? to your own experience and your own encounter, first encounter with reggae music. Yes, I have a couple of things. Uh, the first time when I listened to reggae music, I think I did listen uh, to Bob Marley, first of all. So it means uh, Bob Marley <coughs> uh, is the only artist who did uh, inspire me, especially on the and also just like Peter Tuch, Peter Tuch inspired me on the background of Reggae and also others because I love Reggae because you know most Reggae, Reggae is a wood. I, I, I think I'm right. Yes sir. Yeah, Reggae is a wood and also Reggae is a redemptive message and also why I'm listening to Reggae because Reggae transmitted the message uh, to the black people, transmitted the message of truth, the message of reality. That is why Reggae it's a way to transmit the message of redemptive uh, to the people and also to the rest of the uh, world. Yes, I give thanks to Rastam, well, your first uh, what what inspired you? What how did reggae music inspire you to be? Rasta, and uh, do you perhaps remember when, when the first time you responded to the islands of Rastafari? Uh, how did, did re reggae music play a role in inspiring the eye to be Rasta? Yes, I have. Yeah, re reggae music inspired me a lot uh, because it's the real music and also it's the music based on Africa and also reggae. Is the music uh, which is based on uh, a black people. That is why uh, most of the people who are singing reggae, uh, <coughs> we can we can find them in in Jamaica because they they give us a light on the reggae music. That is why the reggae music is a good music. Uh, it's got the angry and positive message. And also reggae music is used to build me. It's build me a lot and also I listen to it and also I cannot even uh, live to listen to the reggae music. Because when I listen to reggae music, uh, I feel alright, I feel I I feel strong and also reggae music can emancipate your mind. 
and also reggae music, it can fix your heart. Yeah. So when I listen to reggae music, uh, I feel very, 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 very great. And also, its message, yes, sir. Uh, its context of the message, uh, it's got a, a good message, a, 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 a real message. That is why sometimes I listen to reggae, not even sometimes, because reggae is my music. All the time. All the time, as Rasta. Now, as Rasta man, <coughs> you know, exalting his imperial majesty, and I yes, uh, how oh. did, how, what role reggae music played into magnifying and glorifying Hadith Nasiya the first? Uh, <clears throat> what can I say? Uh, that is why the artist, when I listen to the artist, uh, in the reggae music, they glorify this much uh, and also uh, reggae music showed me that his majesty uh, is God himself and right. also that is why what that is why when the the, the, the artists sing they sing they sing with the name of his and, majesty. Uh, and also when they sing reggae they include the the name of his majesty uh, it's a god. Yeah, man. Rastafari. I know. Uh, this is the Rastafari Heritage Center. Yes, sir. Uh, where we were right now in Ikahim. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And uh, this is the center that promotes uh, African center teachings. Rastafari. Uh, as, to, as opposed to, uh, I would say, you know, Christian views that you find promoted by uh, most of the reggae music artists and reggae music artists itself. Yes. But where we are right now, it's a strictly African centered indigenous knowledge system, uh, culture, and tradition. Yes. Sir. Uh, you know, I like let's just share around that to say how, how does the philosophy, the pre conscious. Black consciousness philosophy and the Pan African philosophy that is, uh, you know, advocated by the Rastafari Heritage Center. Uh, how do you think it goes together with? Uh, do you think there is actually, I would say, a promotion of too much promotion of such philosophies in reggae music mm. as compared to, you know, the the Eurocentric. The religious teachings that we find in the game is where artists will quote verses from the Bible and now they must be I don't know when I was Pablo, but according to the uh, philosophy of Africa and also including the, the Rastas, mm -hmm. uh, Bible is not a uh, Philosophize. Mm. Uh, that is why most of the Rastas uh, <clears throat> we don't read the Bible, and also we base our mind on Africa. And that is why here we say it's the Rastafari heritage uh, yes, center. Yes, sir. Because we base our mind on, on African yes, yes, and also we promote the blackness, and also. We are proud uh, to be black people because this is Rastas, this is Africans, this is black people who follow the ideas and also the philosophy of, of, of Marcus Dad. So that is why we have a black, black philosophy and also as a black people we must base our mind on the uh, uh, black philosophy because we must promote it and also we must read the book of a uh, Black philosophers is a Rastafarian say as Pablo. Yes, I think. No, I give thanks. I nice. Uh, <coughs> what would be your comment in terms of uh, reggae music from yesterday, like when you were growing up, as compared to today? Okay. Is there any difference or is it still the same? Any groups, stagnation, regression? No, I think. Uh, there is a there is a difference because nowadays we go the John Sol. Yes, but John Sol is still a a reggae. Even if when you listen to the beat of John Sol, it's still a reggae, just like fella the beat of of, of man. It's just fella 
yeah i think there is there is a difference but the the message the message is is the same just like the 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 the, the, the ancient game it's not like the game we, we play now because we have a dance hall mm -hmm. it's another part of a reggae and also we have a reggae, scalite, scatalite, mm -hmm. rock steady. We have a different kinds of reggae. Of reggae. Yes, so it will just depend <clears throat> uh, which one you prefer, which one uh, you you listen. Yes, because now I can see even the younger artists of today they are improving yes, uh, on on reggae. Or it's like uh, 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 we are no more it's not a question of we are no more embracing the reggae or pop of Mali. Okay, yes, Peter Tosh. Hey, we are still embracing uh, those artists, even if now. But at least I feel happy to see some of the artists uh, bringing their own reggae. Yeah, but even if it is like that, we are still supporting. Yes, sir. That is why I have just mentioned the Transol. Yes, sir. Transol is a good reggae, it's a nice reggae, it's a friend reggae. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. In wrapping up, Elder, <coughs> what you say would be the best way to grow that soul reggae music? To grow it big, to be an international standard, or be recognized nationally more than it's yes, been recognized? Yes, I John Solo. <coughs> yeah, man. Yes, I Pablo. I love John Solo. So I think uh, John Solo to be recognized. Uh, it should be played in the radio stations and also in the televisions uh, and also uh, maybe <clears throat> like the festivals mm -hmm. we can make the festivals of Tuan Solo and also we can invite them if like just like now we have a hall we can invite them eh, so that they will be come and and yes, say yes, yes I and also Tuan Solo is the best music uh, in South Africa. That is why most of the time we're supposed to buy the music of, of the brothers. Because I used to tell uh, one of the brothers who we are working uh, in one of the radio stations, uh, Rasambo. For Rasambo, you know, sometimes you must play a swan song in the radio station, in Motuedi, in Mafiki, in every radio station, national radio station or local radio station, uh, they must promote and play the transfer music because we must encourage them. It's our brother, see? You must give them that boostfulness to, 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 to play their music. Mm -hmm. So, transfer is very, very good when I uh, was public and also we support it yes, to the fullest. Yes, it's sir. one of the South African reggae. reggae. Even I think transfer was started in South Africa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If my memory sends away. Yes, sir. We started in South Africa as well. Yeah, yes, man. Yeah, so, Pablo, we yeah, still yeah, support yeah. this one. So, yeah, forever yeah, and ever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Rastafara, we give yeah, to you. Rastafara, Pablo. Yeah, man. Kitwa Kaka, Dali Rastafara, and I'm still trying, giving you them, trying, trying.